Now, what would you say if somebody out there says, hey, he's too young to be racing a full-size bike? It's a GSX-R750. He's only 10 years old. <laughs> now, wait a minute, guys. Wait a minute. He looks like he knows what he's doing. He's only 10 years old on the GSX-R750. Somebody's been practicing in the driveway. Only 10 years old, he's a prodigy, he's a savant, we can see the skills. And he races multiple motorcycles, he's on the CRF now, coming up in this video, he'll be on the 750, looking for a big grudge race. You gotta see this. Those are the valuable lessons you gotta learn. Good job, he'll be back next time. Time for a shakedown on the big bike. That's a GSX-R750, he's only 10 years old. I love it, and he even knows if it's a bad run, shut the throttle off. Great habits already. This is how we grow the sport. I know some of you may be getting nervous out there. Hey, as long as we keep the safety requirements in place, helmet, gloves, jacket, boots, go to a motocross race. I love motocross. You'll see guys, young kids hitting triple jumps on 60s and 80s out there. We're racing 660 feet here. Can't be that dangerous, right? Excuse me, young man, what's your name? Hey, Matt. How old are you? Ten. Ten? Where are you from? Uh, Charlotte. How are you so good already? Where have you been practicing? Everywhere, really. Everywhere. Hey, that's the baddest little man in North Carolina. Peanut, huh? The baddest little man, D-Mac. Well, Peanut, <laughs> keep it up, man. Be safe. <laughs> Here he comes now in the junior drag bike category. Peanut I got the red light there, but I'll tell you, a very precocious and advanced young man. Can't wait to see him up here again. He's on it. Well, wait a minute. The junior drag bike category was one thing. Now he's in the adult grudge class. You gotta see this. Is, is Peanut yours? Nah. Peanut, your That's son? My little cousin. That's your little cousin. How did he, where do you guys practice with him? How did he become so comfortable on the bike? Shady side of Mooresville. That's right. North Carolina. North, North Carolina. Carolina. Well, a lot of you watching this video may be wondering how in the bluest blue hell does a track let a 10 year old enter grudge and race a grown man on a nitrous Hayabusa? Well, <laughs> as a wise man told me a long time ago, you don't see four letters up there, do you? No NHRA, no IHRA sanction. This is what is known as an outlaw track. Shady side dragway. They can pretty much do whatever they want. Rest assured they're gonna make you sign that waiver, but they can do what they want. I don't have a problem with it because that young man clearly looks like he knows what he's doing and he's got all his safety gear on. So let him have some fun. Where I draw the line is if you ever let anybody do it without safety gear, I don't think there's ever a place for that, no matter what the sanction is, but they're making sure everybody's on point here at Shady Side. Man, Usher Racing knows how to eat, they know how to cook. Impressive. Here comes Peanut once again against another Suzuki Hayabusa. This is wild. Let's see if he can get the win this time at only 10 years old.
Great hole shot. Nice smooth run. Right lane wheelies. D-Mac out in front. Top end. D-Mac gets the win. Oh, You'll see me here. The fastest kid in America. The 10 year old D-Mac, the lumberjack. Follow him on Facebook, Instagram. He's North Carolina Finals. Wow. Took out a grown man on a high boost of peanut. No joke. Give this a share. Wow. Let's take another look. For those of you in the know, you understand. No wheelie bar street tire. That takes skill and finesse. He's got it down. All right, guys, we got to catch up with D-Mac. You have just been knocking them dead today. How old are you again? 10. That's what we thought. 10 years old. Where are you from? Charlotte. Now, I'm just curious. How, where do you practice? Because you were dialed in, man. Really? I practice everywhere. Okay. We go around around the world so i mean obviously you can't go to nhra or ihra tracks only being 10 but where do you practice it street races outlaw tracks no oh, mooresville mooresville allows you okay what's your ultimate goal um, really. you want to be a pro racer yeah i like it what's the hardest part about motorcycle drag racing Have you been racing? How old were you when you first started? I was eight when I first started. Eight. Now, what would you say if somebody out there says, hey, he's too young to be racing a full size bike? I mean, that's their opinion. That's their opinion. You can handle it, right? Well, you're showing us you can handle it. Be safe out there. Good job. D Mac. D Mac. How about D Mac? <laughs> Dragway. This kid is the future. He's doing really good. I think you need to sign him to more mafia immediately. I know. He's been to the dyno. He, he's been in there. We got his KTM flying. You don't want Team Gadsden signing him. <laughs> what do you think? D-Mac, are you Team Gadsden or Team Moore? Neither. Oh, he's my. He's That's him. He's so low. <laughs> he's a free agent. He's, got, he's holding out for a big contract. D-Mac is the real deal. Yes, the real deal, D-Mac. It looks like now a Kawasaki CX-14 wants a piece of this young man. they're playing around with a shot of nitrous. That can't be true. I don't believe that. Let's take a look though. Those are the lessons he's learning and the mistakes you make at 10 years old. That's how good he's going to be when he gets to 16. drag car if not you're about to hi hi <laughs> just like anything else we bet money on these huh everything whoa i told you you never know what you'll see on cycle drag give this a share so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our coverage from Hogs Gone Wow, Shelby, North Carolina. If you like that video, here's another one for you. Hit subscribe right in the middle. Be a friend, tell a friend, and you know if there's anything fast, motorcycles, we're in. Cycle drag. Rolls on.